Welcome or welcome back to my channel and today the Collins family is bringing you guys some very very exciting and probably unexpected news. So we decided that since we're not having any more kids of our own that we would become foster parents. This has been in the works for a while now and we got a call that there was a six-year-old boy in need of temporary guardianship and we thought he was the perfect fit for our family. Let me go ahead and read you his file. So his name is Reese Hernandez. Like I said, he's six years old and he is as cute as a button. Another thing about Reese is that he is partially deaf, so he does have hearing aids. And I think this would be a good opportunity, especially for our little ones to hang around someone that is different and that it's okay to be different. Another fun fact is he knows American Sign Language. So I've been trying to brush up on my ASL and I hope I do well. His biological mom is incarcerated. His biological dad left years ago and he's allergic to peanut butter, so we're really gonna have to be careful. Well, he's gonna be here soon. I can't wait to meet him. But first, let's go ahead and talk to the kiddos. Kids! Come downstairs! So get ready, get ready, get ready. Uh, are we in trouble? Yeah, cause you only call us downstairs like this when we're in trouble. Or if you have some bad news for us. I didn't do anything bad. If it's about all those candy wrappers, I can explain. No, you guys aren't in any trouble, and Leah, I had no idea about any candy wrappers, but look at you, you just told on yourself. See, you talk too much. No, we have some really exciting news. Okay, I know this is kind of sudden, but remember a few weeks ago when your dad and I told you that eventually we were gonna welcome another child into our home. A child who isn't in the best place right now and needs our help. Uh, well, today is gonna be that day. Really? I'm so excited to meet them, Mommy. Well, who is it? Well, he's a six-year-old boy and his name is Reese. And he's gonna be here any second with the social worker. So I need everyone, including you, August, to be on your best behavior. Because this is not a joke and they take this really seriously. And I want them to know that Reese is going to be happy, healthy, and safe here. So don't say anything crazy and don't do nothing crazy. Cause then I'll get crazy and you don't want me to get crazy. Yeah, we definitely don't want that. Got it, mom. Yeah, I don't like seeing that side of you. Oh my gosh, guys, that must be them. He's here, he's here. Yay. Here he comes, kiddos. Look at him. Is this my new home? Well, first we have to see if this is the right place for you. Guys, we probably look so creepy. Just why are you pointing? We look so creepy standing right here. Hi, welcome. It is so, so very nice to meet you. Oh my goodness, you must be Reese. Hi, hello, I'm Georgia, and this little guy right here is Reese. Welcome home, Reese. Um, hi, it's so nice to finally meet you in person, Georgia. We are so excited and we hope that you think this place is the right place for Reese. How about you guys come inside? Yeah, come on in! 
Well, um, this is this is our home. Uh, we have a room already ready for Reese. We, of course, were going through his file. I do have those papers. I emailed them back to you this morning. And yeah, um, any questions you have for us, uh, feel free. If you don't mind, I have a mandatory checklist of questions I need to ask and tasks that I need to perform to verify the safety of this home. Yeah, of course, if you need us to like get out of your way, just, just let us know. Um, but if you want, we can take you up to Reese's room first so you can see where he might be staying. Yeah, sure. I guess we can check that off the list first. Okay, well, come on right upstairs. So, um, this room is a very, very special room. Um, it used to be my mother's room, the kid's grandmother. Um, unfortunately, she passed away at the beginning of the year. So, you know, we because we have the open space, we thought that it would be perfect for any foster kid. So, uh, here we go. Oh, wow. I hope that's a good reaction. So, what do you think of it? They're dinos. There's a T-Rex. My favorite. Looks like we did a good job, August. Wow, I never even saw it yet. Can I talk to you both privately? Oh, yeah, of course, kids. Remember, make Reese feel welcomed. Of course you can. We'll be right outside the door. Of course, Mom. All right. What are you listening to, Reese? Um, I'm not listening to anything. Oh, then why do you have those things in your ears? Livy, those are hearing aids, not row pods. Well, I think they look great on you. Yeah, I guess. I have to wear them because without them, I can't hear as good. I'm sorry, Luis. I didn't mean to make you feel bad. It's okay. I'm used to being teased for it. Uh, this is a lot for a child that's only here for a temporary placement. We're, we're so sorry. Uh, we were just, you know, really excited and you guys send us the files and we spent a lot of time going over his files and I just, I just wanted him to enjoy his stay here. I, I wanted him to feel the same and not feel left out. Like he was so different from us. We're really sorry. We just want to do what's right. There can't be too much attachment going on. I advise you to not get too attached because eventually this placement will come to an end. Legally, I have to disclose that his mother was recently released from prison and is fighting to regain custody. How long has she been trying to regain custody? Do you know by any chance? That information cannot be disclosed at this time. The only thing left I have to do is take a look around the house, if that's okay with you. Yes, of course, take as much time as you need. Perfect. Okay, well, that was definitely a lot of pressure, but I think it's going well, so that's good. Let's go see how the kids are doing. Hey everyone, how are you guys getting along in here? Woo, I'm hanging. Absolutely not, this is what we're not gonna do. You stay on the floor. Aw oh, man, I really like this room. That makes everyone so happy. And we wanted to make this room really special. We were just talking about watching one of the Jurassic Park movies. I love that movie. Well, we'll definitely have to try to find some time to watch it while you're here. Everything look good? Yes, everything looks great. That's awesome! Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to observe you for the next hour. The next hour? Okay. Okay, yeah, sounds good. That's a little awkward, but if we have to do it to keep Reese here, I guess we're gonna do it. Okay, Reese, are you feeling hungry? Um, yes. I won't take too much food. I can cook you anything. What is it that you're craving? Oh no, you don't have to worry about the amount of food here. We're stocked up. Mommy just dropped me so she can go to Reese. Okay, well, do you think I could have a uh, grilled cheese? I make the 
best grilled cheese. I love them. All right, well, why don't you show Reese your skills in the kitchen then? Let me go cook you up a little sum sum. They're so yummy with butter. Sometimes he burns one side and tries to be slick and flip it over. Honestly, Reese, you don't have to worry about that. It's going to be perfect. Shh. Not right now, Leah. Yeah, hopefully he gets lucky this time. Awkward. Maybe let's head to the kitchen. It's right this way, Reese. Oh my goodness. These kids are going to get Reese taken away and get themselves taken away. Whoa. Let me show y'all how it's done. You guys have a big, big kitchen. Mommy, up, up. Livy, you are getting too big for this up, up. And... Who drew this? It looks nice. No, I'm not. Hmm, would you like anything, ma'am? Oh, I drew that in class. No, thank you, young man. Oh, cool. And I added the stars. Oh, just a reminder. When you're speaking to Reese, it helps if you're facing him so he can be able to read your lips if he needs to. Oh my goodness, yes, of course. All right, we want Reese to feel included. One grilled cheese for Reese. Do you guys want anything to eat? I want a grilled cheese too. Thank you for the food. No problem, Reese. Oh, Reese, what was that sign? I've been trying to brush up on my ASL, but I don't think I know that one. That was food and sign language. Oh, okay, okay. Everyone, try doing that sign that Reese did. That's so cool. Livy. oh my gosh. Bad, no, 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 we don't do that. What, mommy? The social worker is taking notes. Livy. you're gonna get me in trouble. This is why you do not need to be in the room when your brother is playing those games. What did I do? Nothing. Just don't do it again. No, don't cry. Don't cry. It's okay. Shh. Shh. Baby shark. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Baby shark. Got some water. Because I'm thirsty. Reese, would you like a juice box to go with your grilled cheese? Uh, I, I can't hear out of my right ear. What are we supposed to do? Uh-oh. Do you have another pair of hearing aids in your bag? I have some extra batteries. Okay, um, let me go get your bag. But I don't know how to do it. Looks like I'm gonna be figuring this out. I think I got the batteries. Does this look correct? I really don't wanna mess up in front of Georgia. She's watching us like a hawk and she keeps taking notes and it's scaring me. I think those are the right batteries. I don't know why I'm asking you. You don't know. Akela, don't worry. We're doing just fine. You're right. Let me calm down. We got it. Just stay calm. I'm cool, I'm calm, and I'm collected. Who am I kidding? No, I'm not. Let's just make sure these batteries are right. Do these look like the right batteries? Yes, miss. Go ahead and hand me your hearing aid. Perfect. I'll be sure to be very, very careful with it. I hope I'm doing this correctly. Okay. I don't like not hearing. It's scary. I'm sure it is. But hopefully, now it's fixed. Here, try it on. Please work, please work, please work. Check, check. It works. Thank you, miss. You are so welcome, Reese. Kids, if Reese's hearing aids ever fall out, you see them on the floor, be sure to pick them up. They're not a toy. Don't be messing with them. These things can be really expensive from what I've heard. All right, but now that that situation is handled, how about you enjoy your grilled cheese? It's right behind you. And I'll get you a juice box. Where do I sit? I'll make the other kiddo some lunch. Um, you can sit anywhere. Anywhere from here to this table. We don't like to bring food into the living room because all the crumbs get in the couch and stuff and it's really gross. Akela, do you want anything? Good, because my tummy is growling. I want this blue one. Is that okay? Yeah, of course. That's totally fine, Reese. Daddy doesn't follow that rule. Honestly, I'll just eat whatever you're making the kids. Chocolate does his dirty work and eats the crumbs. Okay, Leah, how about you go sit next to Reese? I'm sure he would enjoy your company. I do have a few questions for you before I leave. May I use the potty? Oh yeah, of course. You don't even have to ask. 
Sorry, Georgia. Now, where were we? What kind of tasks are expected of the children daily? Um, well, of course, they're expected to get up and get themselves ready for school. We do help the little ones out a bit, but they've become pretty responsible. You know, get up, make their bed, take care of their personal hygiene, come home from school, do their homework. The older kids will do things like unload the dishwasher and help with the laundry. Wow, this little one over here, she's expected to just follow the rules. Don't bring food out into the other rooms. Don't take food to her room. She has started making her bed. And I'm sorry, I'm, I'm kind of blanking out, but that's everything for the most part. And as for Reese, I would probably just have him do something simple while he's here, nothing overwhelming. Maybe just making sure that the pillows are straightened up on the couch and, and letting Leo know when the trash is full so he could take it out. And of course, being sure to clean up after himself. Sounds good. And what is the entire family's daily routine like? Specifically, you in August. I get up really early because I'm a teacher, so sometimes I have to grade some last minute papers, fill out papers for the school. We all go to school together because I teach at their school and I spend 7 a.m. to like 4.30 p.m. at the school. I work over at Golden Stars Academy and after that, I'll take the kids to any extracurricular activities, come home and make dinner, but August and I switch off. So for August routine, well, I guess he can tell you. August, what does your daily routine look like? And please don't say anything crazy. I wake up whenever everyone leaves for school and that's when I get ready for work. I'm a construction worker. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, I've made the school aware of our situation and they are 100% okay if Reese attends some classes at Golden Stars while he's here. All right, well, I think that's it. You have such a lovely home and an even lovelier family. I know Reese is gonna be really happy here, but of course, if you have any questions or concerns, you guys have my number and Reese also has my number. Wait, so, so you're letting Reese stay with us? You have no idea how much of an impact Reese will have on this family. Therefore, that means the world to us. Thank you so, so much for even giving us the time of day, Georgia. I promise you didn't make a mistake. Reese, we're so happy to announce that you're gonna get to stay with us. Woo! Really? I really like it here. Wait, really? So, I'm pretty happy. I can bust a little some some right now. But I still do miss my mommy. August, not the time. I'm sorry, I got a little excited. Hopefully, you'll be together soon. I should really get going now. I hope so. Thank you, miss. Bye, kiddo. It really does seem like you're in great hands. We can walk you to the door or, or just walk past me. That, okay, we'll walk you to the door. <laughs> Bye, Georgia. Once again, we'll call you if you have any questions or concerns. Bye, Miss Girl. Bye, nice meeting you. Bye, Miss Georgia. Okay kids, let's speed up this little night routine that y'all got going on because it's been a really long day for everyone and honestly, mommy and daddy are ready to go to bed. Time for bed. Look at you, sleepy. Come on, we'll put you to bed first. I'm done, miss. I want a unicorn onesie. Okay, we'll get you a unicorn onesie. But Reese, you look so adorable. I'm so tired. Today was a long day. This is my favorite pajama set. Okay, Livy, let's get you to bed. Last, please. Okay, good night, Livy. Let me close your curtains. Good night. We love you. Good night, Liv. Sleep well. Love you guys. We'll see you in the morning. Let me make sure to close her closet door because she swears monsters are gonna come out. Don't worry, no monsters, Livy Bug. And let's check on Reese. 
I think I see a little dinosaur in bed. Good night, Reese. Thank you for the food, sir. And thank you for taking me in, guys. Of course, Reese. We're so, so happy to have you here with us. You are the perfect fit for our family. We're glad to have you a part of our family. We hope you sleep well. You don't always have to call us sir and miss if you don't want. You can... Call me by my first name, Akila. You can call him August. And I know we're not your real parents, and we don't want to force you, but you can call us mom and dad if you're ever comfortable. Okay, Akila and August, or mom and dad. May you take my hearing aids before you go? They have to charge. All right, well, be sure to keep them safe. Oh, I know that sign. It means thank you. Well, you're welcome, Reese's Puff. Good night, buddy. Oh, isn't he the sweetest? The sweetest boy. I'm glad to see that he's warming up to our family. Now let's go put his hearing aids on the charger so we can bring them up to him in the morning. <sighs> hey, you have that look on your face. What's wrong? I don't know. I, I just, I know what we signed up for. I know that this is a temporary thing, but I, I feel myself getting attached to Reese already. I know it's crazy because we just met him, but I, I feel like he's so perfect here. And he's the cutest little boy ever. And the fact that he can just be taken away from us whenever is it's kind of heartbreaking like i'm happy that he'll be able to reunite with his his biological mom because i'm sure she misses him and, and she's obviously taking the steps to get him back but i'm gonna miss him i know it's really not our business but i'm a little concerned also the last name hernandez it's it's ringing a bell but i don't I don't know. I guess it's just a common last name. Akela, let's put that anxiety off for the time being and instead focus on living each day to the fullest and spending as much time as possible with him. August, I know everyone makes jokes about you, but one thing I always admired about you was your ability to just go with the flow and not stress so much. Really? What else do you admire about me? I mean... I really love the way that you look at me. I also really admire that dad bod of yours. I mean, not everybody can rock it, but somehow you do. But anyways, enough of that. I feel like I've talked so much all day that I need some tea or something. Actually, do you still know the recipe for that Valentine's Day drink? Yes, I do. Wanna go make some? Yeah, let's go do that. Okay, it feels really good to finally be settling down. Let's close these curtains. Look at this man already in the bed. Got the critters just out. Look at that, just nasty. And of course we got our drinks and they're so good. But I think we're gonna go ahead and call it a night. Okay everyone, well that is going to be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching. And once again, we are so excited to have Reese here as a part of our family, even if it is temporary. And if you enjoyed, do not forget to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I won't make it easy for you now. You got two minutes of my time.